Hi, this is Mamita Rahman, the immigration attorney helping you navigate the complex world of immigration. In today's video, I will discuss dealing with the stress of being undocumented and submitting your first immigration application. How does the stress of being undocumented affect you? There are many things you can feel about being undocumented. You may feel like you are wrong, that you do not belong here, and that you do not have any rights. Despite these terrible things you may have read and that you may hear in the news, please remember that you are still a human being and that you are still a person. Please remember that there is no such thing as a lesser human being. But your circumstances may have you feeling like less of a person. Being undocumented affects not just your legal status and rights, but it also affects your emotional well-being, your health, and your physical health. Over the years, I've helped numerous clients gain status in the United States, and whether the person was out of status for one day or 10 years, there were many things in common. Most of my clients have felt some level of anxiety or depression, as well as physical symptoms from illnesses such as high blood pressure, insomnia, the list goes on. The stress just affects your entire body. Moreover, it is not just your health that is affected, but it is your family's health that suffers as well. Your U.S. citizen wife or husband might be dealing with the anxiety and fear of being separated from you, and your children may suffer from various degrees of trauma and separation anxiety. Sometimes it is hard to tell, but even a simple inability for your child to concentrate in school is a sign of the stress that they are dealing with as well. So should you meet with a lawyer? Deciding to meet with a lawyer is one of the most heaviest things you can do as an undocumented person because you may be filled with anxiety and dread about finding out whether you have any legal options at all. It may also be the very first time that you're telling someone out loud that you are undocumented and that by itself is a burden. However, even if there is not a path right now for you to gain legal status, a good lawyer will help you understand the laws better and help you make a long-term strategy for status, as well as any contingency plans should ICE ever knock on your door and arrest you. Hopefully, there is an option available for you and your family, and a good attorney will walk you through what to expect, what you will need to do, and how much it will cost. But putting forth your first immigration application is a big life decision. Our current administration is one of the most hostile ever towards immigrants, and a denied application may mean that you'll end up in removal proceedings and deportation. However, a good attorney will help you vet not just what your current options are, but what can happen in the worst case scenario. If I know a client of mine will not have any recourse in court, I may actually advise against filing anything until the laws change or until their personal circumstances change, which would then allow for any sort of defense. The symptoms of stress can manifest in so many different ways, in your mind, your body, and your life. Your stress affects not just you, but your closest family members and friends as well. Everyone experiences stress differently, and everyone deals with stress differently as well. So it is very important for you to find out what it is that you need to do to take care of yourself. I know that therapy is not accessible or affordable for everyone, but just finding support groups or a pastor you can speak with or opening up to your friends can help you deal with your burden. Getting proper sleep, nutrition, and exercise also goes a very long way in taking care of yourself. Always remember, if you do not take care of yourself, you cannot take care of your family as well. One of the other biggest things that you can do is work with a lawyer who you are confident has your best interests in heart. Do not go down the Google rabbit hole. Trust in the advice that your attorney gives you. And if you are not confident, then get a second legal opinion from another dependable attorney. But please don't get all of your legal advice from groups on Facebook or by Googling for it. These actions will just stress you out further because there is a lot of wrong information out there. And moreover, not everyone's situation is the same. So what you hear is possible for one person or a friend may not be possible for you. So please get the advice and consultation from an attorney. So this has been a video on dealing with the stress of being undocumented. If you are looking to find out what your legal options are, please call us today to get set up with a consultation. I'm Mamita Rahman, the immigration attorney here to help you navigate the complex world of immigration. See you next week.
This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. For proper legal advice on your case, please call us to set up a consultation.